Hello, I want to welcome you this morning to this Christian ministry, His Word Lives. I'm thrilled that you had a desire to tune in and worship with us today. First off, we're going to be having our prayer time. I want to pray for the ones that we've reached out to and told them that we'd be praying for them. And I thank you for your prayers and your prayer requests. And pray along with us this morning. I want to uh, ask prayer for my wife, Jackie. She's had a hard time with her back and been wearing a brace and taking some medication. And let's pray for Jackie and that her, her back continues to get better. I'd like to pray for Billy Ray today and things that's going on in his life and that the Lord would help him, preserve him, and comfort him in his life. I'd also like to pray for Annette Morgan, and she asked for prayer. So let's all pray for Annette, and let's pray that God would touch her and whatever's on her heart, her unspoken, that uh, uh, things would be better and there would be benefit in praying to God. I'd also like to pray for Candy and Perry Gardner this morning and I'd like to pray for them and their life and situations and that God would touch them and help them with their needs in their life. I'd like to pray for Paul Wilson today and lift Paul up into the throne room of heaven in that his requests are heard by God Almighty, and we pray for a touch from God in Paul's life. I'd like to pray for Randall Long this morning, and situations in Randall's life, and, and whatever his needs may, may be, and a closer walk with God in Randall's life. I'd like to pray for Rita Chandler this morning, and, and lift her up to the Lord. And she asked prayer for a friend, Deanna, that's elderly. And she asked prayer for comfort and understanding for Deanna. Now you lift up your prayer request. Whatever's on your heart and mind this morning, lift it up to Jesus and pray to him along with us. Dear God, we come to you in prayer with thankfulness in our hearts that we can come together with our brothers and sisters in Christ and gather together in worship, prayer worship, and lifting up these that we've made mention of, lifting up these that we told that we would pray for. God, you know each and every person that we reached out to, and they do too. And God, we're praying for them. All of these things we're asking that your ways be done in our lives, that your help, your assistance, your encouragement and self-esteem be implanted in us and uplift us and show us your ways and, and your power in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us this morning and participating in that prayer time. God bless you. We're going to be reading from the book of Matthew in chapter 17, and we're going to read verses 14 through 21. This is about the healing of a, of a, de, a devil-possessed boy. And when they were come to the, to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed, and oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faith, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, 
you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth out, goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. I want you to know that Jesus is telling us in our lives today that the faith of a mustard seed is very small. Just little amounts of faith can move mountains or make things that seem impossible to us happen because of Jesus and his blessings in our lives. Listen, the only way that sin in our life or mistakes that we make in our flesh and our worldly desires, the only way this sin can ever be forgiven is through believing in Jesus Christ and asking him, the Son of God, to forgive us for those sins. And not only are those sins forgiven, but we are saved and we are partakers in the family of God. What an impossible thing to become possible in the life of someone that believes on the name of Jesus. The scriptures tell us, tells us, believe on the name of Jesus and thou shalt be saved. If you don't know Jesus in your life today, today could be the day that an impossible thing happens in your life. Come and believe, get down on your knees and pray to God, just like you would talk to me or any other person. Address God as God and pray to him and tell him that you believe Jesus is the Son of God. Praise God and thank you for being with us today. And I encourage you to seek the Lord out and worship him this weekend and on the Lord's Day and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.